Hey, it's Tyler from ActiveBeat. Life can get busy, can't it? And when you've got a lot on your mind, it's hard to keep track of the simple things, especially when it comes to your health. That's why we want to break it down bit by bit and talk about the little things that slip by sometimes. Today, we're looking at carbohydrates. What are they? Well, let's find out. So, science, Tyler, come in and just let me put on my lab coat and uh, find my goggles. Okay, here we go. All right, so, carbohydrates. They're a biological molecule made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It usually looks something like this. So, that basically makes up a group of sugars, starch, and cellulose that are known as saccharides. When it comes to food sciences, carbohydrates, let's just call them carbs, basically are full of glucose that the body gets energy from. You get both simple and complex carbohydrates. That's important to remember. So, simple carbs quickly turn into glucose in your bloodstream. So a spoonful of refined sugar will throw off your body's blood sugar levels. You'll get a sugar high and then you'll crash. Generally, you'll want to avoid added sugars to the foods you take in. Maybe you've heard of the phrase empty calories. So what does that mean? Well, basically, that's referring to simple carbs with too much added sugars. This is starting to make sense, right? Simple carbohydrates aren't sounding so good. So let's talk about complex carbs. Complex carbs come from plant-based foods. It's more complex in the sense that you've got a more complex molecular structure. And the body takes longer to get around to breaking things down. You're still getting sugar at the end of the day, but it's taking longer because it's from a more complex source that contains other beneficial nutritious elements. We're talking about more starchy foods with more fiber, pasta, whole grains, bread, potatoes, rice, and others like that. In fact, there's a great little way of thinking about this stuff on a spectrum. It's called the glycemic index, or abbreviated as GI. It basically measures how quickly glucose, or sugar levels, rise in the blood after eating certain foods. A higher GI level means more simple carbs, whereas complex carbs produce a lower GI score. Chickpeas rank around 10 on the glycemic index, whereas white bread ranks around 70 or 71. So, carbs are important, but you need to eat the right kind. Carbs make up a chunk of the energy you need. You want most of your carbs to be complex carbohydrates. If you eat too much, the consequence is pretty simple. Weight gain. Let's do a dinner plate division to help understand. You've got a plate in front of you. It's not a bad idea to think of it like a pie. Take one quarter of it and put some high protein stuff on it. Take another quarter of that plate and put some high carb content on it. Rice, potatoes, whatever. On the other half of the plate, put some fresh vegetables on there. That's about 25% protein, 25% carbs, and 50% fresh vegetables. You can't go wrong. Okay, that's carbs. Does that make sense? I hope so, because that's the end of the video. Add your voice in the comments and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, folks, and don't forget to subscribe and share. Until next time, friends.